Hello guys, welcome to another exciting edition of the Leadership for Growth and Development TV show. I am your host, Toye Wariboko. In today's episode of the show, we have one of Nigeria's young, influential, and energetic gentlemen. He is one who has brought pride and glory to the business community in River State. He is one who is widely celebrated in the social circles of Nigeria. He is the CEO of Seymour Group. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, join me welcome Mr. Christian Okechi Maduba. Wow. Thank you very much for having us come to your place to conduct this interview, Mr. Okechi Christian Maduba. Um, your name, it sounds funny calling out these names, which are your main names, because we are very used to your brand name, which is Seymour Global. How does it feel, you know, when people... How, do, how does it feel, your, your brand name, taking over your name? Uh, thank you very much. Uh, you're utmost welcome. Uh, you're welcome coming to my uh, place today. Um, it's, it's a normal thing because uh, yeah, if the brand is not doing well, mm. people will not be mentioning the brand. Oh, wow. The brand is doing well and that's why you're hearing the brand. But my name still remains my name. So <laughs> I think that starts, my brother. Indeed, it, it is awesome because very few people, some, some, somewhere along the line, people would hear the name Seymour Global. Seymour Global. And yet they'll be trying to place the name. You can just walk in and they won't even know it is you. You understand because that name has taken so much. But let 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 um, our viewers get to know you up close and personal. Tell us about you. Okay, uh, my name is uh, Mr. Madoba Okechi Christian. Mm. I am um, from um, Imo States. I'm from Ehime Mbano, precisely. I'm a businessman. I am the chairman of Simo Group of Companies. Oh, wow, and that's who I am. Mm -hmm. The chairman of Seymour Group. You actually look very young, you understand, and your business reputation precedes you. Now, for someone who's young and is influential in business, how did you get into business? Um, thank you very much for this uh, question, once more. I came into business, I used to be a footballer. I used mm -hmm. to play football before now. A lot of people know me when I used to play football around the world, around Nigeria. A lot of people know me when I used mm. to play football. But I came into business. Uh, it's, it's something that has been a passion. Oh, wow. it's, a, it's a family thing because my dad is into business. My mom is into business. So I grew up seeing how this business work. I see how business work because I, I am part and parcel of how they do their business as a child. You know, as a child, I, I was fortunate to join my dad once, twice, you know, I follow him gradually when he's doing his business. I also follow my mom, you know, so it was a privilege, you know. Mm. So the business thing is something that is in the blood. And don't forget, I'm an Igbo man. Oh, wow. So as an Igbo man, you know how this Igbo, Igbo blood runs. Yeah. The Igbo thing is business. Mm. So uh, I'm here today, I'm a businessman. And thank God the business I'm doing is going well. And we're trying by the grace of God. Thank you very much. You mentioned two things that are striking. One is the fact that you learned from your dad and your mother, since they are business inclined persons. And we know that the Igbo apprenticeship system is one that the world is studying currently. It's one that has a reputation globally. You also mentioned the fact that you developed this idea because of the, the, the concept of your Igbo blood. So there are two things now. Seymour Global is into, you are into, um, building materials. That's was it what your parents were into? Not really. My parents were, thank you very much uh, once more. My parents are not uh, into building materials. My mom was not into building materials. My dad was not into building materials. But it, 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 uh, it's a privilege because, I would say it's a privilege because uh, uh, I just want to put a little story to this. Mm. When I was going to school then, my dad used to have an office 
close to where they sell building materials. You know this thing they call uh, uh, they call uh, agents like yeah. that, that looks for house for people sell land for people and the rest of them. So my dad used to have his office within their vicinity where they do this building material thing. So most times, if I finish playing football, sometimes I go there. I just join his neighbors. I just run around them. You know, do one or two things for them, and uh, before they give me my small small uh, token. Uh, token, you know. I take it and I'll be very happy. I'll be excited. And I see these Igbo men, hardworking Igbo guys. I see them. I see how they walk, you know. And I never knew that this is what I'm going to do today. Wow. You know, you know so I was seeing it as just a, 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 something that I would just uh, maybe play around and just be happy. Mm -hmm. You know, but I find myself loving uh, 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 this building materials uh, um, business. I find myself even uh, trying to see how I can uh, make it look more more good you know trying to i i i moved it from the the normal thing that's you know uh, uh, just to sell doors and sell um, uh, building materials yeah. i moved it from that to how you can do these things and make sure that people are satisfied you know so today and that's how see more began nobody nobody from anywhere i didn't learn any any business from anybody i didn't learn anything and nobody gave me any money to say okay this is take this and go and do business so I was just going there and I saw myself in it and today, and this is me today. So wow. what I will say and what I will keep saying anytime, any day is wherever you see yourself, anywhere you find yourself as, as, a, as a young man or as, as someone that is coming up, make sure you don't take it for granted. Make sure you don't take it for granted. Make sure that wherever you see yourself and anywhere you find yourself, try as much as possible to take it serious mm. because you don't know if it is that place where your stars are very true but then again um being successful in business takes a lot now you have told us how you started out what informed your trajectory into building materials now i'll ask you what is your philosophy of business what has kept you going you know Okay, uh, thank you very much. Uh, my philosophy in business is, uh, is simple. Mm. My philosophy in business is uh, your integrity. Your integrity. Satisfying your clients. Giving them a new kind of... Making sure that you interact with your clients to the extent that they will be satisfied. Whatever you see that something is not going right, talk to them, tell them, not just allowing them to come and just get something from you and leave. No. If what they want to get from you is not what they are supposed to get, see how you can try to talk to them, try to make them understand that this is what they are supposed to get mm -hmm. and not this. They're not supposed to get this. They don't need this. They need this. Secondly, my philosophy in business is making sure that I satisfy my clients. Ooh. My customer-based relationship, I must satisfy you. Yeah. And I must make sure that after doing business with you, after doing business with you, that the both of us can still communicate. Mm. Can still communicate. Not just doing business with you and after then I'll say, okay, I don't have anything to do with you anymore. We're just doing business. No. After business, we're still friends. After business, if I see you, I can still talk to you. After business, we can still communicate. Okay. If you see anywhere, we can still relate. So for me, that is what I call business. Wow. Now from the array of products that you have, having looked at your showroom, these are high-end products nice. of value and great taste. Who are your clientele? Are they ex exclusively for the rich? No, no, not at all, not at all. But but you, you also know that everything costs money. Yeah, everything costs money. You can't uh, you can't do anything without money. So not for the rich. It's for the rich. It's for the middle class. We have we have varieties. Mm. We have things that can that the middle class can buy. We have things that the rich people can buy. We, in, in, we can satisfy everybody. Depending on your budget, your budget is what we are going to work on. And we'll make sure that, even at, uh, as your budget, we'll make sure that you get the best. Oh, wow. We'll make sure you get the best. Where we'll advise, we'll advise. 
where we, where we will tell you, okay, do this or do this. We also say that to you. So we're not just targeting the rich. No. We are here to serve you. So you're saying that you're not just about making sales. You're also about advising yes. the clients to be sure that they get what they will not regret and what they can further commend and recommend other people sure. to come to you. Yes. Wow, that's, sure. a very, that's a very good business philosophy. Now, another thing is, from the array of products that you have, having looked at them, are they all foreign sourced or you produce some of them locally because they are of global standards? And one wonders, uh, is everything here from the overseas or you, you, you produce some of them? Yes, we, we, we have things that we bring from um, Turkey. We have things that we bring from um, Italy. We have things we bring from China. We have, uh, we have a very big fabrication yard. Oh, wow. A very big fabrication yard where we, where we assemble doors, we assemble gates. We do a lot of fabrications. We do a lot of tank stands. We do a lot of things. So we, 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 don't, just, uh, we don't just give you things that are imported. No. There are a lot of things we also make here. You know, there are even some things we even export. Oh, really? We do some exports. Yes, we do. We do some exports. So uh, we, we, we can give you whatever you want. That's the truth. Once mm. it's in that building field, mm. once it's in that building field, mm. be rest assured that with, with Seymour, mm. you are, you are, you are, you are you're, you're covered. That's it. You're covered. Wow. Seymour Global, the brand leader of building materials in the south south of nigeria let me now ask you as someone who has a royal blood in you you come from the royal family of muaduvuba in uh, uh imo state uh, Ehime Bano, imo state how did you was it difficult starting out or you already had a smooth sail probably because of your royal blood no if you if you listen to me uh, earlier when i when I give a little history of how I started, uh, how I started business, uh, 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 it was it was never a smooth sail. It mm -hmm. was never a smooth sail, and um, and I have to be very honest with you. Uh, you can't you can't uh, get uh, a business right when it's a smooth sail. Oh, no, no matter how much you have, you can't get business right when it's a smooth sail. Why I said so is because no matter how much you have. And you put it into a business, and you don't do your 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 your, your good follow up, and uh, uh, you don't do your, your good follow up. You don't uh, you don't get yourself involved. The business will go down, no matter how much you have. Mm -hmm. So for me, as a person, I I I, I came into business from the scratch. Oh, I came into business from the scratch. I came into, because and um, in business in business, you you just keep working and uh, keep pushing. Keep pushing, and if you, your hard work, your 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 clients base, make sure that they are okay. Satisfy them, give them what they want, give them what they want, give them the best. And my brother, this guy is just a starting point. Wow, that's it. Wow, thank you so much, Mr. Seymour. We'll go for a very short commercial break, and when we return, we will continue. Thank Cheers. you very much. Wow, delivery room. Exquisite. Let's see what the bedroom looks oh. like. How beautiful this is. Serene and peaceful. You just want to stay here forever. Alright, welcome back guys. Remember, our guest on set today is the CEO of 
Seymour Group. He is Mr. Christian Okechi Madoba. Welcome again, sir. Thank you very much. Um, in the course of our discourse, you made a profound statement that your lineage and royal blood, the fact that you're from a royal family, did not in any way um, count as an advantage for you in business. You went through the rigors just like every other normal person. That's correct. What are some of the challenges you faced? You know, you know um, thank you very much uh, for this uh, question. You know, in, um, in business, you, you need finance. Yeah, key. You need finance because with that finance, you can't uh, do business. That's very true. But uh, there's a but there. The, the but there is not having finance does not mean you should uh, just sit down and watch. You trying to push yourself, trying to create something, maybe an idea that, uh, that is new. Because what the space of making wealth, if I should say, is what you're bringing that is new that a lot of people does not have. What do you have to sell that others do not have? That is the only way you can make money in business. Now, let me go back to your question. You said, what are the challenges? Yes, sir. The challenges I have personally, one is finance because the idea was there, but I didn't have the finance. I didn't have the backup to get to business but i didn't let that stop me as a beginner then mm. i still pushed because i know that with hard work with you being consistent with you being focused the word focused in your area of pursuit of what you are trying to achieve Gee. you are going to the sky will be your starting point secondly the challenge is, as a beginner, when you want to start a business, if you don't have somebody that you look up to, mm. somebody that you... I always tell uh, the youths and people that are trying to start up business, no matter who you are, you have to have somebody you look up to. A mentor. Somebody you look up to. Somebody you, you, you are looking... At this person and you're telling yourself that in in few years time for the fact that i have passion for this this is something i have passion for i want to i want to be like this person i want to be more than this person so um with that you should have a drive mm. you should have a drive so there's a lot of challenges a lot a lot of so enormous so enormous so enormous is it the 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 economy is it the country where we find ourselves so? is it the the, the 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 challenges we're having in times of the 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 the, the, the area in times of security and the rest so there are a lot of challenges that you can have as, as a beginner in business so but the only thing is you have to be focused of course once you're focused you have a, a, a target of where and what you want to achieve. So with that, you go places. Wow, wow. You know, on, um, um, as part of what you mentioned, as um, some of the ways you overcame the challenges that you faced, you talked about focus, you talked about um, passion, you also talked about innovation, the things that you offer, you understand, that helped you to deal with some of the challenges instead of um, people going elsewhere, they came to you, you understand. Now, what are some of the products that you have that others don't have? Or what is your specialty? Thank you very much. Um, um, we, are, we are into doors. We have um, different kinds of doors. We have doors you can't even find anywhere in wow. Nigeria. Yes, we do. We have a lot of doors. We have bulletproof doors. We have doors that are that is our brand. 
we designed the door and we built the door. Foreign doors, very good doors. Doors you can't find anywhere unless you come to see more. Mm. That's when you can find those doors. We have sanitary wares, we have towels, we have granites. We, we do home finishing. We do a lot of things that can, that can make your home wow. Really? We do a lot of things, a lot of things. We do a lot of things. We can, we can build a house for you from scratch to finish. Finish it then give the key to you. Wow. Yes, we do that. Wow. We do that. So, Seymour is not just about coming to buy your, your doors or buy ties and walk away. No. We give you service at, as it peak. That is indeed very innovative because you're not just selling. No. You want to ensure that you deliver the best optimum service. Yes. Wow, wow. So, 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 um, the current economic situation of the country, is it, is it impacting your business or is it working in your favor? Um, thank you very much once more, my brother. Um, we all know the, the, how the Nigeria economy is, yeah. that is not stable. Mm -hmm. You know, today you wake up, you hear dollar is 500. You wake up tomorrow, your dollar is 650. Mm. You, you, after two weeks again, you say dollar is 800, right. dollar is 700. So the, the, the problem we're having is uh, the economic situation is affecting the business because when dollar is rising like this, a lot of uh, clients get scared in yeah. terms of purchases. Uh, the, 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 the purchasing power drops because if the economy is not favorable, the man that has not eaten, Cannot will he be talking that? about, uh, <laughs> will be talking about buy, buying building materials yes. when he has not eaten? But uh, it's, 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 it's a big problem. It's a big problem. So the, the economic situation is not helping matters. It's not helping matters. But we thank God that the few people who are ready to buy and who are yeah. still willing to do buy. business, they still come and do business with us. Mm. They still come and they, are, they get satisfied. They recommend us to other people who, have, who we have done business yes. with before, now, and they still come. So I think we we'll, we'll still keep pushing. That's mm. just it. That's but we we'll pray that uh, the economy gets better. We we'll pray that the dollar drops yeah. so that, so that the, the, the common man who is on the street can also patronize survive. us and mm. survive us. Thank you. Oh, that's true. That's true. Now, um, your brand name, Seymour Global, rings a lot of bell in the social space of Nigeria. Your name precedes you. And then one begins to wonder, how did you become a darling of the Nigerian entertainment space? Because wherever you are or you get into, entertainers honor you, they respect you, they adore you. What prompted all that? Thank you very much. Um... Uh, it's, 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 it's very simple, very simple. It's about um, your social life. How do you live your life? You know, I have a philosophy about life. I have the way I, I do my thing, the way I, I pursue life, and I see life from a perspective that when you're living your life, you should impact on your world positively. Mm. And as a growing up child, I have that mindset while coming up. And I told myself that the generation I find myself today must, the word must, take note of that, the word must, know that I, Madoba Okechi Christian, existed. And don't forget that if you, if you touch one life, that life is going to touch other lives. Mm. So whatever I'm doing today in terms of uh, the entertainers, in terms of uh, even business-wise, even family-wise, relatives, anybody around me, I make sure that anybody that comes across me, that even those ones that are not even close to me, I make sure that wherever I find myself, I impact on my world positively. And not to forget, not to forget, anybody that I see, yeah. 
I don't want to care. I don't want to know where you're from, whether you are from any part of... Once you are a human and I see that this person has that prospect of doing something, this person is trying to push and I'm opportuned and I have what it takes to make sure that that person goes forward. It has been my nature. Long, long before now, I will do the little I can do to make sure that that person goes to the next point. Level. So that has been who Seymour is. Seymour is one man. I, want, I just want to see people happy. Mm. I just want to see people make progress. I just want to see people, I just want to see life change. I just want to see people go from nothing and become something. something. That's just, that's what gives me joy. And I don't want to know where you're coming from, like I said earlier. I just want to see people happy. Thank you very much. Wow. Now, your, 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 your brand is a brand name and a leader in your industry. And behind this brand is you. What does leadership mean to you? And how, has you, how have you shown this in your business and in society? Thank you very much. Uh, for me, leadership is, uh, is integrity. For me, leadership is, is trust. Leadership is not in by money. Yeah. You, 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 may, you may take leadership today by giving people money and uh, tomorrow you're no more there. But if you do the right thing, your name will remain there. That's true. And you will keep ringing that bell in people's mind. So to me, leadership is integrity. Leadership is trust. Leadership is the quality of what you deliver to people. How does people see you? Who are you? Are you a cheat? Are you a deceiver? Are you somebody that if you say A today, tomorrow you say B, your words don't match? Leadership is your integrity, your person. What have you, what, what are your, what is your track record? What are your track record? So for me, that is leadership. Thank you very much. Mm. You, are, you, you have spoken as a leader, and then again, you are a role model. So um, a lot of youths around Nigeria. Let me ask you this question. How, what advice would you have for Nigerian youths, especially those who want to go into business, so that they can stay off negative vices and also contribute to society as you are doing today? What, what, what would be advice to them? My advice for, for my, my fellow youths, because I'm still a youth, is um, don't look at um, what you see on social media. Mm. Have a target about life, pursue life, have your dream, pursue your dream, be focused in what you're doing, forget about Mr. A or Mr. B is having a lot of money. Those things that Mr. A or Mr. B is having, you can also have it. Yeah. You can have it. If you are focused, you can have it. If you are, if you are, if you are hardworking, you can have it. So, follow life with the way life should be. Don't see that to today that uh, Mr. A is wearing a Rolex watch and you who does not have a job, you want to wear a Rolex watch. watch. No. Pursue your own dream. Pursue your own career. Pursue that thing, that thing you feel that you know how to do. Chase it. Once you are you're hardworking, once you are smart, once you're, you have direction, once you're focused in what you're doing, mm. my dear, I think you will get there. Mm. Lovely. Lovely. Now, one big question for Nigeria. We're approaching 2023, another electioneering season, where we will be choosing our next set of leaders. And it's our hope that whoever we choose should be such that will take our nation away from the problems that we're currently facing. As a business leader, 
and someone who, whose business is impacted by the economy. How would you advise Nigerians to vote 2023? Thank you very much. The election is uh, just by the corner, barely three, four months from now. Barely three months from now, if I, if I may say. And um, we are all going to vote. Yeah. We are all going to vote because we're Nigerians. So, and it's, it's, it's our right to choose our leaders yes. and choose them right, you know. But one thing for me, what I look at, I look at um, your, your track record. I look at um, your, what you've done before now. What are the, what are the, the, the offices you've held before now? What are your track records? What were you able to deliver? What, what did you do? What did you do? Because if you can, uh, if you're a counselor and uh, you, you became a counselor, you could not even build uh, a, a tap water for your community. It shows that uh, when you become a governor, you won't do anything. That's very true. So for me, as, as somebody who has held an office before now, there are things you have done that will show that if you're given an opportunity to do another one, that means you're going to do better. better. So what my advice for Nigerians is anybody that you're voting for and which I myself, that I am voting for, should be somebody that has a track record. Is it somebody that can deliver? Is it somebody that has done something before? What has he done? What, what, are, the, what, are, what are his contributions or her contributions to the society before now? Were they, were they doing something that is going to better the life of the society or that is going to better their own life? Mm. Because I think uh, 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 governance is service. That's service. Governance is service. So for you, for me to give you my vote personally, I should be able to see those services you have rendered before now. Mm. I have to see them physically, not somebody telling me. Not somebody coming to tell me one um, big stories here and there. <laughs> I will judge you based on what you have done before. before. So I also urge my fellow youths that as you're voting, vote with your conscience. Mm. Vote with people with track record. Vote people that have integrity. Vote people that have delivered before now. Mm. People that have done things that we can see physically. Not people that we say A today and tomorrow they will say B. Let us vote people that have said A and that A, they've done it. Wow. Thank you so much, Mr. Okechi Christian Madoba. It has been indeed an awesome um, session with you. Uh, you are a thought leader. You are a business leader. And subsequently, we will do more because the society needs to hear more from you as part of your leadership qualities and attributes. Thank you very much for Thank having you. us. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you're you. Welcome.